Well, we are darting about a bit today, and two races coming up then now from Doncaster. This is a three mile to 140 handicap chase. The top one, Astra Charm glances for Martin Lidham. Bonjour, Paul Rhodes. River of Dreams, Ryan Tanner, Semi Resentful, Sadie, James Shea, Florence Nightingale, Paul Rhodes. So half Lucy for James Shea. Court Milet for Graham Clutterbuck. Lily Branches for David Hewley. Eulini Talking for Thomas Rogers. Leighton Damage for Daniel French. Gypsy King, Alex Cherry. Sunbeam Talbot, John Morgan. Ultra Cool for Graham Clutterbuck. Summer Suspicion for Dan Hughes. Stowaway African, Vinnie Gerard. Break out the old Van Rensburg and Ra Deer for David Hooley. That makes up your 17 runners then. Oh, it's pretty competitive looking handicap chase. And away they go. The second race of week nine then. The first of two from Sonny Donny. And it's River of Dreams and Summer Suspicion that are going to dispute the early lead. Ra Deer also in the purple jacket up on the outside. He's making a forward move. Court Marlet on the rail is close up as well. They're sorting themselves out then now as they make their way towards the first of the 18 fences that they're going to negotiate in this one. And they get to it. And the David Hooley horse was right down on its nose there. Ra Deer but got away with it. And they all got over it okay one or two on tidy jumps in the back of the field as well but summer suspicion then has settled down there into a four length lead with Radir in second as they get to the first of the ditches and over that one they go and there's a fall there ultra cool's gone so ultra cool not very cool today and out of the race early for Graham Clutterbuck but Summer Suspicion is the leader by four to Radir in second, Gypsy King heads the main group in third with River of Dreams on that one's inside and then Sohar loses. they get two to third and they're all safely over that one as this time with just the one departed the race so far over the first three fences but Summer Suspicion is clearing the lead from Radia back in second, and then Gypsy King is third, Bonjour is fourth, and then so half Floozy after that one. Florence Nightingale is next, Sunbeam Talbot wide on the track as they take the fourth, which they're all successfully over. Looking towards the back court, Milet is currently the back marker, so not the best of races for Graham Clutterbuck so far, and latent damage is also near the back, but they've still got a long way to go then, and they get to the fifth, and over that one. They will go with Summer Suspicion setting the pace and leading by six now as they're going to come past the assembled throng in the stands and out for another circuit after they've negotiated this one. Oh, the leader went right the way through that and got away with it. Didn't seem to lose too much impetus, but he's not the stuffing out of him if he keeps doing that one, but he's clearing the lead still at the moment. Summer Suspicion and by about three lengths to Rada here in second as they get to the one will be the last next time round and he's done it again the leader he just got too close to it and gave it an almighty wallop and I can't see him still being in the lead next time round if he carries on doing that the jockey's going to have to get him back on the right sort of wavelength for the jumping because he was jumping okay before but he's suddenly lost his way then over those last two but there's a good old run to the next so time to get him back on track and still leads though by about a length and a quarter to Radia in second and he jumped the water much better it's probably good that the water was the next fence giving a bit of confidence back and uh, leads by half a length to Radia in second then Bonjours has moved upon the outside of Gypsy King so our flues as they get over the next and the leader jumped that one pretty well Florence Nightingale was the one that sort of skidded on landing and has now dropped towards the rear of the field where Breakout is now the new back marker but it's Summer Suspicion in front from Radia in second and Bonjour third and then so half Lucy is fourth and Gypsy King is fifth Sunbeam Talbot is after that one with River of Dreams and Resentful Sadie then Astro Charm glances the grey on the inside gets over that one nicely the Lily Branches is after that then Uvini talking and Court Milet with Stowaway African and Florence Nightingale and finally Breakout and Latent Damage so they're making their way then there towards the final mile and a quarter and they get over uh, fence number 11 and one or two Sketchy jumps over that one, including the grey astral charm glances towards the back, but Summer Suspicion seems to have got himself back together again now and is leading by three to Radia, who's still second, then Bonjour and Sohar Floozy, River of Dreams, Gypsy King, and Sunbeam Talbot. The rest of that group little gap then back to three across the track, who are Stowaway African, Resentful, Sadie and Uvini talking, then Lily Branches is behind them, with Court Milet, and then the back four now of Breakout, Astral Charm glances, latent damage, and finally Florence Nightingale, who's the new bat marker after that mistake a fence or so ago but summer suspicion continues to show the way Sunbeam Talbot is the one who's making eye-catching progress around the outside Radia just being given the hurry up and also traveling very smoothly River of Dreams as they get over the 12th and it's summer suspicion who's in front as it has been throughout the race Sunbeam Talbot is now moved through in a second and looks pretty dangerous then comes Gypsy King River of Dreams yet to make a move on that one as they get over the 
ditch and it's still some suspicion in front from Sunbeam Talbot second. River of Dreams is moving to third. Gypsy King now under a bit of pressure. The one can trying to come back round the outside now is Bonjour. Radi is dropping away a little bit, creeping up the inside so half Lucy and Stowaway African also as they get over the 14th. I know there's a four at the back there, isn't for Sadie has gone. So some suspicion still in front from Sunbeam Talbot second. And River of Dreams, so half floozy, Stowaway African. Look at this breakout now around the outside. Coming through with a challenge. Last a minute ago, but now coming through as they take the 15th and over that one they go. And it's in the lead, Summer Suspicion. Summer Suspicion now being headed by So Half Losey. That's the first time Summer Suspicion has locked the lead and is starting to backtrack now. It's So Half Losey. Breakout, Bonjour. Gypsy King, latent damage has come from nine. There's a faller there. Bonjour's has gone. Bonjour's is out of it. But it's latent damage has now come through to challenge Breakout. These two were at the back of an ago. They've only got two more fences to take. It's latent damage from Gypsy King on the inside and Breakout on the far side. So Half Losey's got the rail. Latent damage jumps in best and gets away from him best. It's latent damage from Breakout. Out in second, so half Lucy back in third, going out all the final fence then there, and latent damage from breakout. So half Lucy, Gypsy King, caught by Let is running on as well. Over the final fence they go, the leader jumped it slowly, and so half Lucy is now taking it up. It's so half Lucy now beginning to race away towards the line, and so half Lucy looks like he's going to take this one fast, finishing River of Dreams second, then come Gypsy King and caught by Let finish well as well, and. It looked like latent damage was going to take that one, but a really slow jump over the last, and it hit the wall. And it's so half Lucy who takes it at a massive price, and sat quietly for most of the race that one. But so half Lucy takes it for James Show. River of Dreams was second for Ryan Tamasevi. Gypsy King for Alex Cherry was third. Breakout for Leon Renwick was fourth, and Court Marlette for Brown Clutterbuck ran on to be fifth.